to I'm just gonna, it's gonna go slow. How diverse get through are, this. Yet, how we are very similar. So we don't miss the beginning. Yeah. Of the He's at 12 news. I'll just cut it. And Alyssa joins us again in the studio. So, you know, a lot of women wouldn't dare tell their age, but if you were to ask Heather Zakar, she just might tell you. And Alyssa, we understand it's a special day for Ms. Zakar. She's being uh, celebrating a big birthday this year. Absolutely right. She is celebrating her 101st birthday right here in San Antonio. Happy birthday, Ms. Zakar. We want to show you a picture of Ms. Zakar that we took the other day. She is just looking fabulous. Take a look at your screen. She's in her yellow jacket in honor of her Yellow Rose of Texas Award she received from the governor last year on her 100th birthday. That award was in recognition of her service and to the nation and to the community over the years. Now, her story is just amazing, fun, and cool. Those are the best words I can use to describe it. Back in 1953, Miss Sakar was 31 years old, and she decided she was done with the old, boring, mundane, everyday life in Minnesota, and she decided to try something new, and that idea was joining the military. She joined the Army, got certified in nursing, and served as a pediatric nurse for 20 years. But here's what makes her story so interesting. Miss Akar was part of history, a major turning point, turning point for women at the time. You know, before the late 1960s, women were not allowed to be promoted to colonel or general. Miss Akar worked hard during her service, but she always knew her rank as major would probably be as far as she would go. But when she finished a deployment in Germany, flew back to New York and drove all the way across the country to California, she found out she had been promoted. I called the recruiting office in Santa Monica and asked if they would look in the recent Army Times and see if there was a promotion list for nurses, lieutenant colonel. And yes, there was, and my name was on it. So I was on the first list. I wasn't the first one, but I was on the first list. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, absolutely. You can see she was very proud of that moment. She traveled all around the world to different countries during her time in the service, including India, where she saw the Taj Mahal in person. What do you all think of that? That Pretty is amazing. awesome. And she, you know, she looks great. You know, she's she's still, you know, she's still kicking. She's still like, you know, full of energy and everything. We got to know what her secret is. Exactly. She has a sharp mind, too. So, of course, we asked her, what is the secret to longevity? This is what she told us. Be helpful to others and be happy. You can be happy even when things aren't going just right. You can choose to be happy and you can choose to help others. I wow. love it. Wow, wherever she's at, she's got a great view out the <laughs> window. Look at that. The towers right outside of Fort Sam Houston. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually. I know where that yes. tower's at. Yes. Yeah. So shout out to everyone watching there at the towers right now. And from all of us here at KSAT, oh, yeah. happy, happy, happy 101st birthday. birthday. And happy we salute birthday. you, Colonel Zakar. Yes, yes. Thank you for your service. <laughs> all right. Thank Alyssa, you. thank you. Yeah, great story. Appreciate you sharing. Perfect for a Friday. 939 for